Okay, hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to JFD Traders Tea Time with me, Dyerson Charles, because today is the 27th of April 2020. So, yep, welcome everyone. Welcome to this Monday's afternoon recorded session where we're going to have a quick look at the markets, a few of the charts, um, the usual stuff. But before we do that, as always, let's quickly have a read through our risk disclaimer. So, the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. As always, a few seconds for you to read the rest, and we can continue. So now then, as always, just before we jump in, a uh, quick mentioning of our JFD YouTube channel to which you can always subscribe to in order not to miss any of our upcoming videos. And of course, our JFD Bank website and specifically our JFD research page, which we also update on a daily basis. So yep, uh, feel free to visit us here on jfdbank.com and click on the research tab right there. So I believe you can find some useful information here for yourselves, guys. So. Uh, now then, a uh, quick update on what's happening here globally. So this was the previous number for the US, um, but let's have a look at what's happening globally first. So have we hit the 3 million number or have we not? So we're very close. Uh, so yep, the official figure is, is somewhere around here. So basically, we are still um, we are still slightly below, but uh, most likely uh, that we are not. Probably we are more than that. But so we'll continue monitoring this number. Of course, the 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 way it's rising, it's not as fast as it used to be, um, but still it is rising. So yep, I hope you're all staying safe and. Uh, uh, yeah, be very careful with everything. Now then, uh, jumping into um, a few instruments here. So the first one I want to touch on here is the Nikkei uh, 225 here. Now, uh, this morning the index uh, closed uh, in the positive territory um, and uh, Basically, but it still remained below this key area of resistance, roughly between the uh, 19,975 and the uh, 20,111 zones. Um, now, again, we could round it up just to make an, uh, keep an eye on the psychological 20,000 zone, so it's still below that, um, but it's just that uh, this area could be quite an important one to watch. So uh, the top level here is that, that, that 20,111 is the lowest point of August 2019. So, um, Continue monitoring this, guys. Uh, it's very interesting. So, depending uh, depending on how today's uh, U.S. equities are going to perform, probably uh, we could see uh, if they rise, um, we could see the cash index on Nikkei traveling higher, and uh, probably tomorrow we could be seeing a nice uh, kind of opening uh, gap here to the upside. But that's of course if the uh, the U.S. equities rally. So, um, well, for now we'll keep an eye on this one. It's uh, quite interesting. But basically, long story short. If we get a nice, good, strong move above that psychological 20,000 zone, then yes, we will aim for some higher levels. In terms of the downside, we will consider lower levels if we get a drop below the 18,950 territory, which is the lowest point of 2018. So something to consider, something to keep an eye on, but uh, for now, it's leaning more towards the upside. However, we need that confirmation break first. <clears throat> A quick update on, on the German DAX, not, not much happening here, basically it, it hasn't moved uh, much, uh, but um, yeah, it's still below these levels, so the same game plan remains. I'm not going to spend time on this one because, again, I've, I've talked about this one a lot, and last week basically the same rule applies. We need to see a push above the 10,820 zone uh, in order to aim for higher levels, and a drop below the psychological 10,000 uh, area could do the trick for more sellers, so keep your eyes on that. Um, now, jumping into NASDAQ 100. Now, let me actually just clear up the chart here, uh, here a little bit, so... <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> so, um, you can see that the um, the index continues to climb higher, and looking at the cash index right now, we can see that the price is currently, well, moving around the 8,880 80 it was just 8,880 8, zone. So basically, uh, about a hundred above this level. So, uh, in other words, uh, if we take the high here of last week. 
um, is this last week or no the current the current high of of April there we go yes so 8879 so the price is currently balancing just slightly fractionally above it so that's a good sign uh, we may see this one pushing further north however be very careful near the high of uh, the highest point of March which is around the psychological 9000 zone and uh, if this area <coughs> excuse me if this area uh, fails to with provide decent resistance, then a nice break of it could uh, lead uh, the index towards some higher levels. Like, for example, we'll aim for the high of the 24th of February near the 9,195 zone. And uh, then uh, the next potential area of resistance could be around the 9,406 level, so which is the low of the 21st of February. So um, <clears throat> for now... Keep your eyes on this, guys. Uh, keep your eyes on this level here, the uh, 8,800 and, and 8,880 zone. Um, if we get a further move higher, then yep, all eyes are on that um, psychological 9,000 zone. So let's we'll see how it performs around there. Um, now, in case this decides to reverse lower. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to keep an eye on this little short-term upside support line. And that one's taken from the low of the 23rd of March. Now, um, a nice good drop, a nice good break below this upside line could in a way uh, open the door to some lower levels, but uh, probably we'll get a little bit more comfortable with that idea if we get a drop below here, below this, uh, the low of last week near the 8,360 uh, zone. So if we get a nice drop below this, this would also place the, um, we will also place the price below the 100 EMA, of course the 21 day EMA, but it still will be above of the 200 day EMA um, however uh, still this this drop lower could increase the uh, the uh, the Nasdaq's chances to uh, kind of drift uh, further south so keep your eyes on this again for now we're leaning more towards the upside um, especially if it continue let's say if it balances above the 8880 zone then yep the next target for us is that psychological 9000 territory and then we'll take it from there um, Brent Oil, quick update on this one. Uh, so this one sl is sliding a little bit lower today. So however, as I've mentioned this morning, uh, in order to get a little bit more excited with lower levels, we needed to see a nice good drop below the low of um, the low of Thursday, uh, which is around 20.10 zone. So as you can see, this is where the uh, the index is. <coughs> Excuse me where the, oh sorry, the index, the commodity is currently uh, balancing at. So in a way, we need to see a nice good firm move here below this area, below, of course, that psychological 20 zone, and because it keeps on flirting with that area, and then, yes, we could uh, maybe consider further declines, especially if we get a daily close below this area, below the psychological 20 zone, then, yep, uh, further declines are possible, guys, so bear, be very careful here right now. Uh, let's see how this is going to play out, but, um, yeah, for now, guys, it's this is how it is. We're not, we cannot really, yes, although it is leaning more towards the downside, but we can't really uh, get comfortable with that idea yet. So wait for that confirmation, kind of stronger confirmation move. Uh, Bitcoin. Now here the situation is uh, slightly difficult. So yes, it is pushing higher. It broke above this key area of resistance, uh, which we had here on the chart, the 7,454 zone. Um, it drifted higher and is now on its way to... Um, to test the 200 EMA here on the on the daily chart. Now, um, as you can see, the kind of the the moves higher are kind of really uh, slow. I would say it's kind of just grinding higher. So um, that's why we will be very careful. And when we do see, let's say. S difficult moves to the upside like that when there is a, a sell-off day then well the sell-off tends to be quite a decent one so that's why uh, be very careful here guys for now yes we're leaning more towards the upside we will aim for this 200 EMA on the daily chart uh, which is around roughly around the 7900 level and then we'll take it from there if we get a nice push above it the next potential target could be around here near the 8455 zone um, or it could continue pushing further north towards the high of the uh, or should I say the highest point of March near the 9241 territory but Let's not forget that we do have this um, this 
pattern this this drawing here so we do have this downside line here which in a way uh, could be still in in the way so this is the monthly chart as you can see we are kind of coiling up here on a very big picture and uh, for now I mean uh, probably it might end up moving here for a couple of months maybe even for a year who knows um, and uh, but eventually this if we will refer to the technical analysis rules then well eventually this will have to give us a nice either a pop here uh, through the up uh, through the upper side of this triangle or um, uh, a strong slide through the uh, through this lower side of the triangle so again for now uh, we're just monitoring this one uh, from the very short term perspective yes we are leaning a little bit more to the upside however there's a, there's a bunch of uh, resistance levels that we need to consider here so the first one being is the the 200 EMA on the daily chart um, USDJPY. So I've talked about this one this morning, and to be honest, the same idea still applies. Uh, we're not really doing much here until we see a clear drop below the 106.92 zone here, and only because that's the current lowest point of April. And if we do get a, dr a break below this, then yes, this would first of all conf will, will confirm uh, a lower low. And uh, then, yep, in a way, if the, especially if the daily candle stays below this, then yep, further declines are possible. Maybe even all the way here towards this this 105.12 uh, territory. So keep your eyes on this one. In terms of the upside, we need to see a push above the 108.08 level before we could uh, examine some higher areas. And uh, still, we will be very careful near this barrier, near the current highest point of April, near the 109.38 zone. So. Keep your eyes on these two highlighted areas. Let's see which which one is going to get broken. For now, we're leaning more towards the downside, of course. Uh, but uh, of course, in order to get comfortable with lower levels, we would need to see at least a daily close below this area because we don't want to get ourselves in a false breakout here. Um, so yeah, we would prefer to see it, uh, the body staying of the can the body, but the body of the daily candle staying below this air, below this highlighted area near the 106.92 zone. Uh, NZD CAD very quickly on this one. Um, so this one's pushing higher. Um, in a way, it looks like there is a chance for this one to move a bit further north. Uh, it is near this key area of resistance around the 0.8556 territory and also near this 200-day EMA. So in a way, it could push above this all this all this kind of resistance zone. However, we do have this downside line, which we need to kind of keep in mind. Uh, this one is taken from the high of the, uh, of the from taken from the highest point of March 2019. So, in a way, if it if it stays intact, um, or let's say even if we get a, a break of it, but then we get something that we had here in the beginning of March, for example, like a, a couple of false breakouts here, then well, keep your eyes on the daily on the body of the daily candle if it's stays above this, uh, then there is a good chance for this one to drift maybe higher. Um, for now, yes, we will aim for the upside, um, but uh, we'll be very careful. First, we're keeping an eye on this 200-day EMA, then, of course, this 0 0.8556 territory, which is the high of the 31st of March, and then we'll take it from there, guys. Uh, because, like I said, if it travels higher but fails to move above this downside line, then we could see another round of selling. So something to consider, something to keep in mind. Um, AUD, USD. So this one, on, on, unlike NZD CAD, this one is already pushing through its downside line. So um, of course, this is this break is happening today. Um, Previously, when I looked at um, AUD USD, I was telling you guys to keep, first of all, keep keep your eyes on this downside line taken from the high of the 1st of January. And second, uh, we needed to see a nice good con confirmation uh, break and a, a daily close above the 0 0.6445 uh, territory. Um, as you can see, it is pushing higher right now. It's currently trading up slightly above that. So let's see if the daily candle can stay here. If it can, wonderful news for the buyers we could see <clears throat> a bit more upside so that's why for now uh yes we are leading more towards the upside however let's wait for that uh let's wait for the end of the day and so let's see how, where this is gonna end up being um gbp aussie so again this, this something that i looked at this morning and and this morning i was telling you guys to keep a close eye on this 1.92 91 zone uh because uh, basically if we get a daily close below this then you have further declines are possible at least towards this 200 
day EMA, and then after that we'll take it from there. Because if it uh, if it gets a hold up here, like it did, for example, back here and on uh, around the 8th and the 9th of October, then we may see a bit of a rebound. However, if this gets broken, then well, further declines are possible towards these lows that we saw here in the, in the end of December and the beginning of January. So. Keep your eyes on those. Uh, keep, but first, keep your eyes on this level here, the 1.9891 zone, because that's the lowest point of March and it's currently getting violated. But let's see if the daily candle can stay below it. Uh, Euro CHF. I talked about this one this morning, and I was telling you guys we were basically hanging around the 21-day EMA. And what I was saying to you this morning, guys, that um, if in a way there is a good chance for this one to push higher, given that we have ourselves a nice uh, positive divergence here on the um, on the daily chart even so um, the and given the fact that it, we have been declining for quite a while now uh, there is a good possibility for this one to drift higher so for now it is the, it's doing exactly exactly this it is pushing higher uh, let's see how far it can travel um, in a way there is even a potential for this one to drive all the way here towards the this downside line taken from the high of the uh, 23rd of April 2019 so uh, uh, we will keep an eye on this one, uh, of course, uh, but uh, if it stays intact, well, we could see another round of selling. But for now, from the very short term perspective, we're leaning a little bit more to the upside. Um, ideally, we would like to see maybe a test of uh, first, of course, we'd like to see a test of this area, the high of the 26th of March, near the 1.0655 zone. And uh, then the next uh, potential area to consider could be the highest point of March around the 1.07 or should I say even 1.0710 territory. Let's round it up a little bit. So uh, again, for now, guys, uh, yes, it is, it is leaning. We are leaning more towards the upside. Especially, uh, the f this is supported by the uh, our by our oscillators here on the daily chart. Um, so yep, there's a good, uh, good, good kind of uh, chance for this one to uh, drift further north. So, so keep your eyes on this one. And finally, Euro USD. So I've talked about this one this morning, and I was telling you guys uh, to keep an eye on this little kind of formation. Um, so yes, on one hand, we do have ourselves a nice uh, descending triangle, which according to all the TA uh, textbooks, um, it tends to break to the downside. However, um, you can see that uh, it, the this 1.0777 territory, which I've mentioned previously, and this is the lowest point of, of February. And uh, uh, as you can see, it acted as a fantastic area of support last week. Yes, we did get a few overshoots here, but the daily candles kind of still uh, managed to stay kind of above this above this area um, and this today this this morning we started seeing this one climbing higher it continues to move higher now uh, however um, let me just jump into a four hour chart um, yes for for now guys we will probably stay a little bit on the neutral side because um, as long as it stays in this kind of area right here we will stay neutral because in order for us to get comfortable with higher levels first of all we need to see a break of this downside line taken from the high of the 29th of March and just for that extra confirmation uh, a push up of the 200 EMA here on the four hour chart could do the trick for more buyers. Um, however, for now, like I said, if it travels higher but fails to move above this downside line, well, I mean, for now, we will kind of stay neutral because even for us to consider the downside, uh, we would need to see it a nice daily close below this 1.0777 and then, yep, we will aim for lower levels for now. Uh, we are just kind of in no man's land and uh, although yes on the daily chart we can see a, uh, a p potential descending triangle however we have seen this happening many times where uh, to be honest sometimes patterns don't work according to all the TA rules so that's why be, be very careful so and that's why we will wait for a break through the lower side first before kind of uh, considering let's say that this pattern has worked so that's why for now we will remain neutral so guys um i hope you found it useful and uh thank you very much for watching and listening if you want to join me uh t tomorrow morning at my and if you want to catch my tomorrow morning tomorrow morning's video um around six o'clock gmt time so yep and then we'll have a look at some of these instruments some new ones and we'll take it from there guys but i hope you stay safe i hope you stay safe both health wise and market wise and 
and uh, yeah, guys, thank you very much for all your support, for all your likes and views, and uh, I cannot even imagine how much it means for me. So th really appreciate that, guys, and uh, I hope you have a fantastic remaining trading day. Thank you very much, and bye-bye.